Give me the gory details. You want the gory details? All right, just give me the gory details. And uh, she will call you later with all the gory details. You owe me nothing but the gory details. Don't leave out nothing. We love gory detail here. You know, I would love to sit and go over every gory detail with you, fat boy. And I want all the gory details. I want all the gory details. I want to hear all the gory details. I'm here the gory details, I guess. Another gory details. Gory detail with which you speak. The gory details. We count all the gory details. All the gory details. All the gory yeah. details. Yeah. Hear the gory details. Please uh. leave out the gory details. Oh, that must have been a pretty gory spectacle. In gory detail. Which is going to have a gory feel to it. Last one's a little more gory. With all the gory details. No gory details. Tell her all the gory details, you snake. Spare me. Spare me. Spare me, self, me ship, me crew. No, spare me. Not a lover's quarrel, pal. Spare me. Spare me from what? Of the gory details. With gory stories. It's not really scary, but gory. Here's nature and all its gory. Back in my gory days. It's too gory. It's pretty gory. Gory. The gory? The gory. 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 And give me the details. Give me the details. Details. And spare no detail. I'll spare you the gory details. I'll spare you the gory details. You want the gory details? Yeah. Thank you.
Oh boy. Ah. Feels good to be out of the coffin here. Oh hey, that's me. Let's get gory. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guys and girls, ghosts and goblins. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sean Gory, and I'll spare you the gory details. I'm dead excited to be here with you all this evening for our Thriller Thursday broadcast. We are coming to you live from, ow, eh, a little bit more of Transistor. When I say a little bit more, I mean, like, quite literally, a little bit more. I've got very good reason to believe that this could be and will be the finale of this game. So there is a very good chance this will be a very short broadcast or a very short stream for us here. That being said, um, I'm expecting a boss fight. And depending on how tough this boss is and depending on how well we perform, this could be a very long broadcast. We will find out here. But before we go any further, you might notice that above my head there's this giant blue donation bar and progress tracker for this little thing called Extra Life. Well, for those of you who don't know, Extra Life is this absolutely free 24 hour charity gaming marathon where you can play games for an entire day and it helps raise funds for sick and injured kids in the Children's Miracle Network Hospital of your choice. This hospital can be halfway across the globe depending on where you're located, or it could be in your own backyard. Fundraising is absolutely free. Uh, signing up is free. Participating is free. But if you choose to do so, you get your own website. And people can donate to said website to make charitable contributions towards the hospital of your choice. And realistically, it all goes towards helping the kids in the whole network. But... It feels pretty good to kind of make a difference in your own neighborhood, if that makes any sense. Uh, each year, the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals provide care to 10 million kids because of your support. So if you are a gamer or a gaming enthusiast, I cannot recommend enough looking into Extra Life. It's in our About Me section. Pumpkin Jack shared some commands in the chat. You can do a quick Google search. You can do this solo, you can do this with a team, you can start your own team. It's pretty incredible. So yeah, I definitely recommend looking into it. Well, friends, um, we have a game to finish here. So let me slap the cans on. There we go. I'll get my head out of the way and we'll get right back into it. Okay, so, um, I know there's a, a boss fight coming, I'm going to reevaluate the functions. This causes 100 damage, I should be using this. Oh, we lost it, we just, we just re-enabled it, um, we lost our bomb ability. And we won't get it back unless we can find another access point, which is a shame. Um, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Take them all off real quick. First things first, we wanna we wanna do this charge tech. That seems like the first thing to do because we can compound and we can cause some trouble. Then we wanna do this because that combos. Then we wanna do this because the long range is good. The bombs would be great next, but we can't do those. Okay. Um ricochet or the bounce is also gone. So I'll tell you what. Let's add the infection to our shot. 
let's add this shot to our shot. Huh. Nobody changed the sky like Yandale. Why her? Uh-huh. Grand Kendrill's rooftop hideout back in High Rise. That was for damage control. You wanted to save people. Self-healing is good. Um let's apply the self-healing to this one because we're gonna be doing this three times to everybody. Flood, we have not we haven't used this yet. Uh enhances most functions with lingering destructive effects. Our memory's full, we can't do anything else. All right, this isn't the ideal setup, but this is what we're gonna go with here. We've already got baddies, okay. So, hi friend. Backside bandit combo on him. My uh, turns short, that way we get technically more of them. Does that make sense? We did it though. If Royce can hold them off, so can you. I don't love how um, how many abilities we've lost. I hope before we go into a boss fight, we can recharge them because how am I going to boss fight at half mass? You know what I'm saying? There's another gateway here, but there's another terminal here, so I'm gonna check out the terminal. Whatever Roy sees in this place, I don't. Whenever people make a change, whether to the sea or the sky or anywhere in between, the process does the real work. Invisible, behind the scenes. Well, I say, whoever does the real work ought to get the credit. So, I found a way to put the process center stage. A way to keep the process working in concert. In harmony. That sounds nice. Don't like it here. It's also... 
very up in the air. this leads somewhere other than here. Oh boy, we're upside down again. The transistor. I have no idea what's inside it, really. Who or what? I mind theories, but well, that's really all they are. It's just theories. I've seen inside it. Had myself a little look. But I didn't see much, didn't see much at all. It was like staring at the sky. Bright lights back there. Maybe it's Royce. Hmm. Let's never do that again. And the upside down bit's definitely unique. This town, it changes shape all the time, right? Bridges, parks, highlands, rising, falling. Okay, so we can get some buildings rising, back. Falling. Let's get back. Uh, we can't afford it. We need to visit another access point. All right, well. I'm just slapping stuff on stuff. This is not my ideal configuration, but we can afford it, so that's what we're gonna do. This a shot, and hopefully it works out for us. The changing of the seasons, even the seasons, they're just looks like a star. But I guess I grew weary after a while. Things changing all the time, all the time. I tried getting him with a good combo, but I'm not sure how well that worked. That he regenerated. That's actually kind of annoying. Oh, this isn't Fanny, and that isn't like Park Shark. <laughs> well, this is a Lincoln Park shirt. Hold on. This is part of their uh, 20th anniversary. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, part of their, their 20th anniversary release. But how are you a friend? Let me give you a little bit of a howl. Welcome, 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 friend. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure this will be the finale. Um, I'm s almost surprised the game didn't get concluded last night. Is that a picture from you from Appy? <laughs> not quite, not quite. Oh shoot, I'm in combat. Oh, okay, well. We just got pushed into the emergency mode. Um, let's go right behind this man. Slap him with a backstab. Shoot in the back. And 
try to do some more damage to him. We're gonna make sure he's dead. Alright, we did it. We got some health. This is good. This is good. Clear. Oh no! Uh, I didn't mean to jump forward. I thought there was a training area back there. No, no, no. So, did it just save our progress? Because I'd like to not, not have skipped stuff. Did not love that. Didn't love that it just lost the function there. We did, 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 we did. Clear. Which way? Okay, um, well first things first, let's use this to... Just let's try to finish the house one, two, three at a time. Listen, you gotta fix those door frames and those lock hardwares. I get it, I get it, friend. Make you think fun for dinner? Actually, negative. Um, it was Rachel's turn for supper this week. She made a fun kind of pasta with cucumbers and tomatoes. It's very light, which was a nice change of pace. Because I've been cooking some heavier meals, so yeah, it was nice. How about you? What was on the, on the docket for you? Um, let's shoot. You let's shoot with this, and then let let's shoot with this. No. Big <laughs> popcorn bush latte. I mean, hey, calories are calories, right? I forgot this one. You go in the A slot for sure. Now we're talking, now we're talking. We'll worry about this one in a little bit here. Um, I never get the shade of the shot. I decay to the shot. We have four slots available on our abilities. I do like the ability of gaining health whenever I hurt them, so there's that. 
Let's do that. Alright, well, we're out of RAM. I know it's a little early, friends, but I have to use the little boys' room. Ah, so what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna run a quick miracle story to talk to you a little bit more about extra life and how the funds are raised here. Playing games like Transistor here make the world a difference for kids in need in the Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Don't go anywhere. We have a great rest of the stream for you. We're gonna bring up this finale and then probably wrap things up. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back. My name is Tobin Hawes, and I am a survivor. It all started out when Tobin wasn't himself. Something wasn't right. I took him to the doctor, and she said he had fluid on his ear. She said, come back in two weeks if he's not right. But two days later, he threw up three times in a row. He wasn't eating. Tobin has an ependymoma. So always when you mention that, it sort of comes like an explosion. It's a shock. I took him to be seen by a pediatrician, and she took about five minutes and ordered a CT scan. That's an especially tricky tumor because it grows beside the brainstem, and that's one of the toughest areas to do surgery. And I remember getting a phone call from my wife at lunchtime saying, oh, we are just here at the hospital. Tobin is getting a CT scan. I'm like, wow, well, you just got a cold and the infection. That's a little bit odd. Tobin's tumor was nestled between cranial nerves. So when we removed it, if we went too high, his face would get numb. If we went too far in front, his face wouldn't move. And if we went too far below, he wouldn't be able to swallow. And took Dr. Dirks a good, I guess, eight hours or so to remove the, the tumor that was really embedded in the center of his uh, brain, he basically saved his life. Oh my God, a huge swarm is coming. They are billions. Three years later, an MRI showed it had grown back significantly. Miraculously, surgery was possible, so he had the surgery, and then he was on chemo for a year and a half, and then it came back. It showed that the cancer spread. It was scarier to know this cancer, it's growing, it's, it's active. During chemo, you lose your hair, you take two different temozolomide capsules, and then you have to take a top aside, which is another type of medicine, and it tastes like the worst thing ever. It just tastes really bad. We always have to give people in such terrible circumstances some hope. Today, in 2010, we can do a lot more with these brain tumors than we could do over the last couple of decades. We have better surgery, we have better tools at our disposal, we have better imaging. The best starting place after surgery is to have no tumor there. So if we can get to that spot and have the patient doing well, that's a huge hurdle to cover. And then we can start saying, look, there's, we've gotten him through this first hurdle, there's hope here. Everything's checking out really well. I thought it was time for Tobin to get back to playing hockey, but I told the parents to buy the most expensive helmet they could afford. Every kid is special, and what we want for them is to have a normal life. Even if they have a disease as bad as a brain tumor, we want to encourage them to do the best they can, to have fun, to enjoy life. He's in the best hands as sick kids. Anything that the kids need help with, assistance with, it's taken care of there. Fundraising is absolutely critical to the everyday workings of the hospital. It makes us able to have the best tools at our hands when we do surgery. 
One of the things that I like about Children's Miracle Network is that when the money is given to Children's Miracle Network here in one community, it stays in that community. In a way, it'd be nice to become out of a job as a neurosurgeon for brain tumors. That would really be uh, the big wish, is if these kids could just come in, we give them the right medicine, and it disappears, and they don't have to go through surgery. When I go to sick kids, I try to encourage kids that have cancer not to give up. Back when Tobin first started treatment, we were introduced to the Bravery Bee program. What they do is each of these beads represents a treatment or a procedure. On Tobin's Bravery Bead necklace, there's 31 MRI beads. There's 63 radiation beads. There's countless finger pokes and blood transfusions and emergency visits. Just, it's a lot. There's well over 500 beads for Tobin here. I'm so proud of the way that he's overcome his challenges. Well, hi friends, we are back. Uh, what you just saw there was a quick miracle story to talk to you a little bit more about Extra Life and how the funds we are playing, the funds we raise here by playing games with uh, the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and Extra Life go towards making the world of difference for kids in need like the absolute champion you saw in that miracle story, Tobin. Uh, Tobin's story is a very unique one because honestly I think just those little, that that necklace right or like the, that that bead counter that they have for all the treatment kind of really puts into perspective of what life is like for kids in these hospitals um I'm in my 30s I have had surgery for my tonsils and that has been it so if I was to have a necklace like Tobin's, it would be one bead long. Tobin's necklace stretches into the 500s, and I can't imagine having to be in a hospital, even if it's for 15, 20 minutes, um, half, half of a thousand times. That's insane. It's absolutely insane. Um, he's just a champion for it. <laughs> Violeta... <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid, friend. You guys, our friend Violeta showed us some love and dropped us a raid. Hi, friends from Violeta's stream. Sorry. My name is Sean Gory, and I will spare you the gory details. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch, and I'm a, uh, 
And I'm uh, an extra life enthusiast here. <laughs> I'm leaking. <laughs> we have to play games to kill kids. And uh, we do all kinds of different stuff. I've been fundraising for Extra Life since 2010. And this is my 13th year of fundraising, which is why my fund for the kids is $13,000. 13 years, 13 grand. But yeah, um, donations are absolutely not a necessity. But if you can spare a dollar, it can go a huge way. Uh, or it can go a long way, right? Um, I mean, everyone knows that there's huge, huge diaper manufacturers out there. And they're making diapers for babies the size you can hold your hand. But realistically, there are NICU and preemie babies that are born the size of a cell phone. Or even smaller than your hand, if you think about it. And something as simple as a dollar can go towards raising funds for diapers for these kids that are itty bitty, right? Um, or the isolettes, those plastic boxes that they're kept inside during their super early levels of development. Oh my gosh, Violeta. Thank you so much for the the raid, Violeta. Violeta, I did see that you were streaming earlier, and I, I like the post of yours about it. Stop. No, you're phenomenal. Get out of here. Um, what were you playing? Uh, how did it go? Tell me more about it. Scouter715. Hello, hello. Actually, let me give everybody a wave here, friends. How are you all? Hey, <laughs> you're featured on a conspiracy. That's true. It's true. There's conspiracy that I might run the social media network for uh, Extra Life, which isn't true. I would love to get paid to Extra Life, but it doesn't happen here. <laughs> No, Violeta, thank you so much. And you guys, um, if you guys are gamers and gaming or gaming enthusiasts, I cannot recommend enough. Look into Extra Life. It's a 24 hour thing. Like, we together for a full 24 hours and we play games all day. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop you. Like, someone's like, oh my gosh, like, what are you doing? It's Saturday. Sorry, uh, I'm gonna get to play games all day today. And it goes towards helping kids in need. It's pretty incredible. Did some Call of Duty? What's Call of Duty though? Because there's only like a million of them. Ended on some Pixelmon? I think I did see you post something about Pixelmon earlier this week, how like they weren't displaying your stuff correctly. Anonymous just donated $5 to Extra Life. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. As grateful as I am for whoever just donated that anonymously, there's a chance that there's ulterior motives there because I have lots of um, donation incentives. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So if you look at my incentives, there's stuff like roll a d20 and I do push-ups, or I swear I have to donate, or it covers my stream with, with or my screen with donuts. Um, does a jump scare. So what's 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 the five dollar? Oh ho ho! Arcade time. I'll 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 game while standing up for a short time. Okay, so to it. Ready? Watch this. Ready? Here we go. Violeta just dropped a good old prime sub. Uh, well, Violeta, I already gave you a little bit of a shout out here, friend. But I'm going to give you another one. Let me screw this up so it's not so much five head, six head, my four head here. Um, let me give you a shout out here. Shout. Um, you guys definitely check Violeta out. Violeta, I don't know if Violeta has been streaming for a super long time, but we've been friends for a long time, and now that they are streaming, it's like, I should probably show them some love. So it's on the list. It's on the list, Violeta. And I do see your posts. I do see when you go live. I see all the things. I try to be everywhere all at once, but you don't do so much, right? Either way, friends, um, 
definitely go show them some love. If you guys are just tuning in, we're currently playing a little game called Transistor. It's like an orthographic, isometric, real-time strategy, indie adventure, turn-based game. It's, it's very... The mood is super cool in it. Um, and this might be the finale, which is why the stream is said says finale with a question mark. So yeah, uh, we might be wrapping things up here. So let me get my head out of the way and we'll get right back into the gameplay. Okay, so we already did this access point, right? Good, good, good. So this is us selecting our our tools, what to go into battle with. Friend, you're wonderful and I appreciate you lots. You don't have to do anything. This is not a transactional friendship. Hee <laughs> hee, I'll ever kind of, um, by Lita. By Lita, by Lita. No, like, every, anytime, like, you, you post, I'm like, yes, yes. I love it, love it, love it, love it. By the way, um, it's gonna be, like, super early your time, like, 3 a.m.? It's not my place to say where you live, but I think I, I have an idea, and what are you doing up this late? Violeta, no! Uh, are you working tomorrow, Violeta? It's Thursday, my... <laughs> it's Thursday. Oh, can, can I talk to this guy? I knew Grand half my life. Principal persuasive man. Very persuasive. I'll miss him. He appreciated my work. Supported my endeavors. The camera I was... I'm so obsessed with Pixelmon, I don't... <laughs> Have until midday and nothing in the okay, evening, so it's okay. Okay, cool. So you're fine. You're fine. I'd say the rest is history, but you're fine. That's not quite the case. Okay, so there are two options on our screen to come closer. Is this gonna like just launch us somewhere? Oh, 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 there's a door. Hey, look. There's a door. Get the feeling we won't be coming back here for a while. I don't like the idea of that. Luna, come here, Luna. She likes us. Too bad about her friends. We have a Didago. And let's mull some ideas over. Actually, let's put some tunes on, then mull some ideas over. Did they disable the jukebox on us? Lame. That's just about enough for Royce's lectures back there. But if he says he can make the process go away, I guess we gotta hear him out. Hmm. So we can't listen to music. <sighs> unless we can do that now. We have so many doors open. You guys, we might not finish this game today. Playing test, six of seven. Okay, so there will be one more after this one. Okay, playing test, six of seven. Try to make the process in one turn. Okay, um. Okay, so first things first, I gotta take out this cheerleader. And then I take out this cheerleader.
give this a shot. We did it! It said we missed a spot. But we killed them. We killed them all, we just couldn't collect their, their bits. I'm here to sleep, my friend. I hope you have a fantastic stream. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Bye, Lita. Appreciate you tuning in. Have yourself a good evening. Hope you have yourself some good sleepy sleep. So, I know I've killed all of them in one attempt. That I kill this this first cheerleader. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It says it's going to do 200 damage to this guy, and then does 50. Negative 200 damage, like right? Like that should cost negative 200 damage. what's happening here. Um, So obviously the shielder doesn't help because, you know, it produces a shield. Okay. So we have to take out the cheerleader that's a half health. I get that.
Brayden, welcome to the stream, friendo. How is that chiller still alive? I don't know how that chiller still alive. Um. That was good, that was good. I'll read the lyrics when I am available. Give me just a second, Brayden. Welcome, though, welcome. Brand new rat. Brand new rat. Ah, oh, those those things are too short range. Okay. Well, brain just used their phantom points to make me donate a dollar in extra life. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do here, real quick. Let me pull over a new tab. Donate. And point redemption. Dollar. Awesome. Brand, thank you so much for those Phantom Points, friend, and making me spend my own hard cash. We got posture check. I'm sitting up right now, so my posture is pretty darn good. And a stretch. I can give you one of those. Well, Bren, Bren, Bren brings up, Brain brings up the idea of making sure you guys are all sitting up straight. Let's make sure no one's got a bad back right now. We don't want to be crescent rolls. Oh, you want know, Shamrock Shake this year? That is this time of year, isn't it? And there's a notification. Brain, thank you so much for those phantom points, friend. Let me mark those complete. Who in the heck is Bryden? <laughs> Bryden is the name I've given you by mispronouncing your name. Okay. So let's just right off the rip go here. Let's give this a shot here. I love those rolls. Feels very doughboy for life. We did it! 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 Woohoo! And his name is Jason! Here are they roll! We got a new song called Vanishing Point. Good. Well, we have the practice room, which I have no interest in doing because we've done it a ton. This is the third of three stability tests. So this Something's is the, the last here. one. Is Jukebox back on now? It should be if I go back down and look at it. Shoot, I forgot to bring the towels. That's what she said. Here comes the tide. Give it up. Mm -hmm. 
try to say more Larry Brave, just, you know, keep it PG. Oh no, we okay, so we lost our ability to sprint, which I don't love. Storm Victor coming from their directions, a raid from Argos Media. They are billions, holy smokes. Well, it's Thursday, which means there's only one thing that is. it is Dungeons and Dragon Night. Argos Media, thank you so much for the raid, friendo. Holy smokes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guys and ghouls, ghosts and goblins. If you're new here, hi. My name is Sean Gory, and I will spare you. The gory details. I'm dead excited to have you all here this evening for our Thriller Thursday broadcast where we are coming to you live from a little bit of Transistor. Transistor is a 3D, 2.5D, orthographic, isometric, real-time strategy, turn-based strategy, action-adventure game where we're in a dystopian future and like there's like a digital plague that's slowly taking over the real world. Um, it's pretty unique so far, and this is very likely the finale, unless, of course, we don't finish it tonight, you know, which means it's not the finale, but yeah, Argos Media, how did your stream go, what were you playing? Like I said, I assume it was Dungeons and Dragons, but it's not always the case. Either way, friends, uh, let me get my giant head of the way, give Argos a shout out, and then we'll get right back to the broadcast. Uh, did that, did that not go through? Slash shout out. There it is. Argos Media subscribed. We close a case. Trick we just subscribed too. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes, friends. Thank you so much for those subs. Those weren't just subs and give the subs, those were just strip. Hardcore regular subs. Thank you so much, friends. Let me give Fractal Entropy a shout out here, too. Boop, boop, boop. Pookiekins just subbed. Was that gifted? Captain Jim Rainer, that was gifted. Oh my gosh. Let me give Fractal a shout out. Let me give. Hold on. Slash shout out to Captain Jim Rainer. Thank you so much for those gifted sub friends um yeah if you guys aren't aware we do have our own discord server and it's like, something like hey i didn't press that button fudge it uh if you guys aren't familiar we do have our own little discord server and it's just like an added benefit for people who've subbed or even get the subs it's not something to like pay to stay in you don't get like a special role like this isn't like a you can't have access to this server if you don't give me money every month. Nay, nay. You treated us, we're gonna treat you. Just an extra space to hang out when we're not live, because I can't be live all the time, but we can always be sharing stuff with each other the rest of the day. Yep, 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 yep. Um, so yeah. Wait a second, we got a hype train going. What? What? We got a hype train going. I didn't see that. Holy smokes. Okay, well, choo-choo it is. <laughs> All right, gang, well, let me get my head out of the way. Um, definitely show Argos, Fractal, Captain Jim some love. They happen to be extra lifers, which makes them double cool because they raise funds for kids in need. And of course, being on my team doesn't hurt. Let me get my head out of the way and we'll get kind of uh, back into trying to not die. All right. Um, gonna run after I do this Wow so we lost the help feature we almost have lost the feet like every feature to like actually
like actually cause damage, which isn't good. That was a little much. That's the first time we've ever died. Okay, these guys are these guys cause some serious damage. Overkill, but I'm just doing it anyway. These guys are tough because they just like keep summoning stuff and I can't touch them. This is bad. We have one function left. I don't love that. I'm gonna die. Okay, so, uh, wow, this this got really hard really fast. Hype train's been completed. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. They're so fast, like I'm I'm literally just sprinting away. And I'm losing my abilities. Um shoot, this is this is really hard. It's already my emergency turn, like I'm getting my butt just kicked. I, all I can do is like this downward strike now. They're invisible so I can't hurt them right here. If I just stay in one spot and just slam. Like they, their range is farther than mine. This is, this is not a fair fight. They can spawn baddies. Nope.
Okay, so let me spawn a whole bunch of these dogs and then start the process. I'm at half, I'm at a quarter health, and all I did was spawn dogs and run. Should I just, so I just keep running? Just attack them as they come up behind me? So attack, sprint away, attack, sprint away. So guerrilla warfare tactics. Not a bad move. Okay, who's attackable? Okay, so this is what I should've been doing. I should been using the jaunt ability to run to safety after every attack. They, yeah, yeah, they're they're super fast. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this now. Are any of these guys un... Uninvisible? This guy looks a little invisible. I could care less about the haircuts. These guys need to go away. This guy, hi! Ah, uh, he got away. Hey, 
I just realized I don't even have to kill them, I just have to survive. So I lost my ability to sprint. Survive like a tenth of a second now. Gotta get through this. I was like trying like win that. I wasn't even thinking about just like just making the bare minimum. And we did it. That was painful. We can do a song though. Hmm. We had a new achievement down here. Stability. You're being tested. You must have passed. Okay, that's a practice room, I could care less about that. The speed test, five of six, okay. Same beach, but something's different since the last time. Ready to go fast. Let's go fast. Hold on, what's... How much damage does this thing do? 225. Versus just 15. That's not gonna that's not be good for us. We just lost our uh, our heaviest hitting attack. Yeah, I don't think I can get them all now that I've lost my, like, real heavy hitter. Oh, okay, cool, so we can't sprint. I think I fudged up already, guys. Yep. So we need our sprint, we need our heavy hitter, and then we can do the, the light hits. I just can't get hit. That's really it's what it is. Oh, dang. Okay, we just got him good. That little stupid thing got me. Okay, okay. Oh my god! I shot it and it's like I don't care. I don't I don't I I don't care. Did we 
do it? Did we do it? Did we do it? Or do we have to kill the haircut too? Doesn't matter. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> well, the only thing that's actually like left in this room to do is the practice, which I don't actually care about. So let's get back to the main of it. The main event. The meat and potatoes, as they say. And that, I believe, is the transistor's true purpose. Is guy still talking? His true nature. Wait, can you repeat that? Ooh. That's right, bro. Only can run his targets. And me. Funny things about the transistor. Let's see. You can get in, but you can't get out. How about that? You can get in, but it's a one-way street, a one-way road. It's like the country. You don't just go for a visit, you go for good. I don't like the sound of that for our our friend in the sword. I don't like the sound of that at all. This is something. There you are. So close to leveling up. Oof. Okay, you're almost here. Almost here. Um, we need another one of these. Those things here. Um. What could we add for ourselves? Um. Sneeze. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. What else could we add? We're running out of space here. We got room for nothing else we can afford. Okay, well, then that's what we're do. You ready? Funny, I'm beginning to get a little nervous. So come on now. Come on. Huh. Everything around us, washing away. Must be the place. 
place. Hi, Royce. If you can hear me. Welcome. 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 Oh, there he is! Come on. Inside the studio. studio. I'm quite, quite unarmed, as you can see. And, and it's safe, safe in here, relatively, relatively safe. safe. Yeah, at least for now. Yeah, there he is, like... Here's the thing. Now, if the transistor doesn't go back in its cradle, then why? You and I both. But we just won't be anything anymore in a little while. You, me, and the rest of this town. So, please, don't let my work go to waste. I'm being reasonable. Now, full disclosure. Full disclosure here, which is, I am one, positively certain 100% that this will work. Which is, transistor plus cradle, equals no more process. Okay. No funny business, okay? We'll just take it one thing at a time. One topic at a time. Look. This is it then. You know what you have to do. What have we got to lose? So, I mean, it's more than just like this town, right? It's this why we're here. It's the entire world. And what's stopping this digital all this way for a reason. infection from spreading everywhere? Just get it over with. We don't exactly have another choice, do we? Like, we can't leave. Yeah, our only choice. We have to put the transistor back. Um, and Lord knows what this means. <clears throat> Look, no matter what happens, just... I love you. You know that, right? It's time. Bye for now. Let's see, the good news, well, the process, I think we got it, contained it, so the town is going to be all right. Okay. It's just, well, someone's going to have to rebuild. It almost does, I'll doesn't it? <laughs> close to the flame there, so now we're here, not there. We're stuck, and... Unfortunately, the only way back that I'm aware of is, well, unpleasant. So, let's get this over with. So he has a transistor too? Oh, okay, so boss fight, okay, um, first things first. We're doing the thing where we can stack damage, so that. Um, I definitely like the idea of that. Um, causing infection, damage over time. I definitely like the idea of that stealing health from them. Yes. Okay. Um, next, I definitely want the ability to follow up th that attack with a strike. And I definitely want to get some range. And I definitely want to do an explosion. For the range, I want to add Ricochet. Nope. And I want to add the explosion radius, the explosion. And I want to add 
life steal. Ooh. I want to add life steal to the. Where's the life steal? I want to add the life steal to the damage effect, and I want to add. Okay. We're gonna leave that one be. Um, I want to add this to the explosions. Oh shoot! 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 Tell you what. Let's undo the explosions because I'm running out of like the the bonus things. Let's undo the explosions and let's undo this. Let's add this to here because I only have one slot here. But for the explosions, I can add to here, and I can have the increased radius, and I can have the thing where I can just spam it, which would be nice. Okay, for the shot, we have bounce. Well, we're like we're like full. We can't apply anything else, really. We cannot apply anything else. We're full. We're full on RAM. If I select, yeah, if I select nothing. Oh, yeah, we're full. Okay. We're going to give this a shot. Who gets to go first? How about me? So because he has a transistor, he can do like the turn-based thing too. Okay, so we're not the only ones. He just brought us down to half health. Oh, okay, we could have moved this whole time. Oh, wow, that would have been nice to know. Okay, so I don't like that. We bring him down to 250 health in one shot? Okay. Wow, dude, we are wrecking this, this guy. Shoot, shoot, shoot us. Only one of these is good for the return trip. Let's see if it'll be yours or mine. You're thinking Roy. Roy is a, a Super Smash Bros. character. Okay, so... Damage. Damage. It says weakness does not stack. Well, then fine, let's not stack it. Let's go for the back strike. Go for the shot in the back. Yeah, let's do the, let's do the overkill. Let's kill this guy. It says he's protected. Second chances. I don't like how low my health is. It says it doesn't stack. That's fine. We don't need to stack. This is good. This is good. Um, with the backstab, the, the backstab, the void. With the backstab, the void, and the combo. Down to 230 now. You know, I truly thought how could the transistor be anything other than one of a kind? But I've been wrong about a lot of things here. I admit, all part of the job of having theories. 
being right sometimes and also being wrong. Let's try this then. Woo! Woo! Oh no! Oh no! Shoot, shoot, shoot. I know. Those go through walls? That's annoying. He should be negative. He should be oh, he's protected? Does he actually have a line of sight of me? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. He was invisible! What the actual F? He has a thousand health again? Ah! Not much, but it's gonna be something. Shoot! Oh, oh, he's gonna get me in the back. I'm in trouble. I just lost another ability. So he's down to two, two twenty-five. Yep. Down to 25 health. No, no, no! I beat you, I get my town. Get the transistor. But then I've often wondered what it's like in there. What it's really like. So, in a way, no matter what, I win. He's hurt me pretty good. He's at, he has 25 health. That's a backstab. Negative 50? Negative 500? He's... He's protected? Oh. Remarkable. He's up to a thousand health again? Are you kidding me? He's gonna hurt me so bad. Like I'm right there. I'm about to lose another ability if I don't die. Okay, so is it? He's at 800. I'm dropping down to two. Sorry, five. Stop. I'm about to lose another ability. That's it. Last chance, I think. I'm on my last bit of health. I have no more abilities other than the sword itself. Our friend who sacrificed their life for us. I think he's he's out of second chances, more or less, is what it was called. It went from two to one to zero. This might be it, you guys.
We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Right? Take a breather. Oh my gosh. We got away. Yeah, we did. Barely. Red, we got away. Now you're here. And me. And that's it. Our voice is fixing everything. What is this? This whole town. I guess it's yours now. A blank canvas. Yeah. And you still have the brush. Yeah, the brush. Yeah, the yeah. The camarada. Wow, wow. <laughs> Junction jams, all the drinking joints in the canals. What are you thinking? Hey. No. Look. That's not me. Not anymore. I'm still with you. But I'm not getting out of here. Red. Hey, what are you doing? Wait, 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 what are you, what are you doing? Red. Don't you do it. Don't you dare. Don't do this. Please. If you do this. Red, please don't. Wow. She couldn't bring him back. So she went to him. No, I, I didn't see that coming either. I thought like maybe she could bring him back with like this new restorative ability that she got. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Aww. This art's super pretty. <laughs> we never see his face. <laughs> Aww. Like the moon that makes the tides. It's almost like a Romeo and Juliet story where you know like they're taking each other's lives to be with each other. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, this this whole soundtrack's been amazing. Oh look at him bring her coffee or tea. No, this entire soundtrack's been nothing but amazing. No, I wasn't expecting, uh, heard, heard a 
after a life like that. Oh my gosh, they're on a farm! Oh! Hi. She has her voice back! Someone's cutting onions in here. <laughs> oh, I just got a teammate called Bai. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Woo. Oh. There they go. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> Well, it's a waste to have credits, Dream. <laughs> oh. Wow. That was a really fun game. Um... I'm really glad that the boss fight was way more dynamic than just what we've experienced throughout the campaign. The fact that the boss had their own turn and could just amply destroy us was a lot. And I mean, we got down to the wire with our health and our abilities. Like that was a good, that was a good boss fight. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Woo! <laughs> you use fake tears? <laughs> I hope you don't have to use fake tears. <laughs> Alright, friends. Well, that was the conclusion of Transistor. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. <sighs> um, yeah, I definitely recommend this game. It's fun. Uh... Wasn't it like a super difficult game? The sound design was great. The visuals were great. Um, I got nothing negative to say about it. Woo! <laughs> uh, yeah. I expected this to be a super short stream. I thought like, oh, hey, we're at the, the boss's level. We'll go there, kick his butt, and call a day. No, this turned out to be like almost every bit of a full, a full stream here. So, yeah, I got no regrets. What we're going to do now, friends, is we're going to go to the outro screen. We're we'll find someone to raid together, and we're we'll turn our party into their party. Don't go anywhere. We're about to make someone's day. We'll be right back. Nope, wrong one. Sorry. The lesson I want you to learn is it doesn't matter what you look like. You can be tall or short, or fat or thin, or ugly, or handsome, like your father. <laughs> uh, you can be black or yellow or white, it doesn't matter. But what does matter is the size of your heart and the strength of your character. All right, friends. That is going to be it for me here. Wait a second. All right, well, note to self, I gotta fix my social group here on the bottom of the page. But uh, yeah, that is gonna be it here for me this evening for our Thriller Thursday broadcast. And that's not just gonna be it here for me this evening. That will also be it here for me this week. We will be back next week. Stay tuned to the socials to see what our schedule looks like. Obviously, if we just conclude Transistor, we should have something new on the docket for you, and I promise you that we do. So stick around to see what that is. But in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and drop a, a raid over on our friend Anthro... Uh... Anthrop... Anthropopagic64. Anthropopagic64 who's currently playing a little bit of Dwarf Fortress, which I've never even heard of before, let alone seen before. 
Uh, Dwarf Fortress looks like a top-down 2D... Not even like a Minecraft game. I, I don't know how to describe this. You guys have to use your best judgment, but besides being an awesome streamer, they're streaming for Extra Life, which makes them twice as cool. So I'm going to go ahead and show them some love. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that Pumpkin Jack shares some info in our chat real quick here for us to copy and paste here into... I'm just going to call them Jack. I'm just going to call them Jack. Into uh, our Anthropos... Anthropo... Anthropo stream. Once we get there. But yeah, that's going to be it for me here, you guys. As always, there has never been anyone like you. There is no one like you, and there'll never be anyone like you. Love yourselves. Love each other. I love you. We will see you all next time. Stay spooky. Now, if you excuse me, I'll be back in my coffin. You have yourselves all a good evening. We'll catch you all later. Have a good night.